Today on Walking Tall, I'm here with Charini. Charini, welcome on board the show. Hello. <laughs> how are you doing? Very good. And good. how have you been like in terms of fashion? How is your fashion journey so far? Can you give us a little background? Just a tiny background on how it all began. Right. So I graduated from the Morotu University, Sri Lanka. And then I straight away joined MS Intimates. And then I um, did my master's with London College of Fashion. Of fashion. That was more on design management though. Um, so... Yeah, so ever ever since I've started, it has been one roller coaster ride, I would say. Has designing, I mean, becoming a designer always been in the books? I would think so, because I was always the t creative type. So since I was a child, I used to kind of design my own outfits and design my own shoes and things like that. So I think I had the knack for fashion from very early. Very early stages yes, of life. Yes. Okay. So one of the most famous things that you were known for, you've been called an inspirational woman. You've been called the maestro of you know, couture fashion overall and one of the things that everyone still talks about is that you were the first Sri Lankan to you know represent us at the London Fashion Week in 2011 and that is when you launched your lingerie brand Charini. How was that experience for you? That was a really great experience because I think uh, that's one of the milestones because one thing to be the first Sri Lankan to take part at London Fashion Week and also the fact that I could represent uh, with the uniqueness because I uh, did my lingerie brand along the ethical lines. So I used a lot of um, Sri Lankan crafts, but then what I did was I transformed those crafts into something that, it w that was more contemporary. Um, so I was happy that I could do that part of it as well, rather than, I mean, it's nice to be there, be out there, there in London and be a part of London Fashion Week. But I also like the fact that I could take a bit of Sri Lanka and, you know, present in a way where people were wowed by it because otherwise they wouldn't know that we have all these things happening in Sri Lanka that, yeah. yeah. Do not spray into eyes, I have sprayed you into my eyes. And where do you wish to take your brand, Charini, in terms of goals? I wish I could maintain that international presence with the brand since I'm based now in Sri Lanka. Um, because otherwise, you know, I don't want to be limited to only Sri Lanka because I want to r reach to the other markets as well, like, you know, have my brand out there in the fashion capitals. I'm already retailing at certain places internationally, but I want to grow in terms of, you know, um, all these places that I want to um, uh, retail, uh, you know, uh, online presence and also in-store presence. Um, and also looking at expanding more into that bridal mm -hmm. arena because I think that's a fantastic market and a place that I can do something unique, I feel. Um, so that's the other plan for the brand. 
So 2017, we had the Colombo Fashion Week, and there was a lot that we saw, but one of the things that everyone's talking about is your collection and how it stood out. And when you launched the Hexapod uh, Kuchu collection, it was inspired by um, something out of the ordinary. There was um, butterflies, moths, and bugs. Like, how did you come about that idea and, you know, making a beautiful masterpiece out of it? Um, I think I've always been inspired by nature. It's one of those things that, you know, it's an uh, unlimited source of informa in information and also inspiration in my eyes. So I think that's where it all came from because it's these little details that we can, uh, you know, observe and create things out of that. Tell us a little about the um, shoot that we're going on that's happening today, um, what will be showcased. What I've done is I've hand-picked certain silhouettes that will represent the brand. So I've got one or two smart casual looks, um, but with a lot of details. Then I've got an evening wear look, a proper red carpet dress, and like a sari drape dress. So you know, certain designs that I wanted to show um, clients or um, show an audience which will represent the brand the best. <laughs> That brings us to the next and final question. In terms of your brand, Charney, like where do you see it going? Where do you want to take it? And also in terms of a new collection, are you working on it right now? Right, so for the brand, I want to continue having the international presence uh, because we already do retail overseas as well. And um, I've just opened my flagship store in Colombo 3, so I'm I'm putting a lot of time and effort into that place as well because that's going to be my studio where I kind of do all my designing work and have a have a store presence to represent the brand. And also we've moved into bridal. That's the other area that we are focused at the moment. Okay. So there are all these little projects happening all at the same time. So with today's shoot, when Charlene walked in, 
we sat down and we, we had a look at the collection and it had a lot of va variations. So firstly, we mapped out with what outfits and where to shoot them. Uh, and after all, we started off with an interesting wall print, which kind of complemented the, the two dressers. And thereon, we, we did a couple of shots outside, with, with, with in, including greens in the shot, which is very interesting. And again, we uh, highlighting back on the fact that it had variations, we had to experiment a bit more. So for the latter part of the shoot, we were uh, looking out for more locations. And actually, rather than the location, we focus on the fabric itself. And we experimented a bit and we did a couple of experimental shots like of the model standing in high up in a window to staircases to uh, involving lamps which had colors. So I thought that was very interesting and those were very interesting elements. So I think planning on the go and doing a lot of shots with a uh, lot of experimental shots rather gave us a great outcome. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to the pictures and how they would turn out retouched and, and with the final looks.